Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here and today I want to talk about PSVR 2 because we do have a state of play coming tomorrow. We've got some details from Sony that indicates it's not only going to be 20 PlayStation 5 games that are going to be shown off tomorrow in a 30 minute demonstration or showcase I should say, but also PSVR 2 games were mentioned as well. So I thought it might be interesting to do a bit of a prediction video what is likely to happen tomorrow for psvr 2 what is unlikely to happen tomorrow and keep in mind this is specifically for psvr 2 so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show one likely thing and then i'm going to show one unlikely thing now i mean i've got photoshop open here in the background this is pretty advanced technology we're talking about here i've got these black squares covering my predictions i'm going to lower the squares it's going to be like a tension thing you know keep you engaged keep you wanting to see what comes next i'm going to move from likely to unlikely and back again as you may have seen already by the shape of the squares i've got more unlikelies than i do likely let's get a nice slow little drop down look at this my first likely is updates to already announced games such as behemoth alien but i would also add you know metro in there maybe Wanderer, you know, games like this that we've seen a few times already, but maybe just another little trailer. But that's my very first thing. Of whatever we see about PSVR 2, I suspect most likely it'll be an update on something that we already know about. Let's move over to unlikely. The first one is, the tension is unbelievable. I think it's unlikely we see Resident Evil 9 with PSVR 2 support. There's a rumor going around Resident Evil 9 is ready to drop. Now there was, earlier on in the year, this was supposed to happen. I think back in June or something like that, and then it got delayed at the last minute. So it's possible that they do show off Resident Evil 9 tomorrow at this stage of play. But for PSVR 2, even if Resident Evil 9 is there, it doesn't necessarily mean they'll show a thing that confirms PSVR 2 support. You know, like even a thing at the end of the trailer saying PSVR 2 support is coming would be very cool if they did and if it's real and if it happens of course it would be but it just feels like a big one especially when they didn't give us really much gnosis it feels like 24 hour gnosis resident evil 9 will be a big game like you kind of want a lot of people tuned into this one i think if you're capcom and sony now keep in mind as well that tokyo game show is right around the corner so it's possible they do like a little tease for resident evil 9 at the stage of play and then they do like a full trailer reveal at tokyo game show or something like that a lot of the reason that i have resident evil 9 ps4 2 support over in unlikely is because I don't want to get my hopes up too high by putting us over into likely. So let's just keep the expectations in the gutter where they belong. Back again to likely. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? No more than three PSV or two titles. That's what I'm gonna say. If there's any more than that, I'll be shocked. I don't think we're getting more than three. Keep in mind the last state of play, and this ties into point number one over here as well. The last state of play, they showed us Behemoth, and an alien rogue incursion trailer both games we already knew about already announced just like here and that was it it was two so i don't see them pumping it up a lot more even though i think they really need to i think this is the state of play where they need to show us in 2025 what that lineup is going to be for psv or two so my hope is that they will but you know the uh, pessimist or the realist thinks no more than three and then the next unlikely event or scenario for me for psv or two is more than one new announcement the key word there is new so let's say they do show two i would expect one of them to already be announced i don't think we'll get anything more than one and even if we got the one new one that would be a like a shock for me a big surprise i'm moving over again to like i think this is the last one i think i had three likelies and maybe four unlikelies disappointment is the my third likely point that I think we're going to have tomorrow. If you're if you're a PSVR 2 fan, if you're looking forward to this thing tomorrow, I think disappointment is something that I think is likely, personally speaking. Over here then, in unlikely, point number three is Aces of Thunder. Now you might be thinking, why would that be unlikely? You know, this is like, a, it was a Sony exclusive, a PSVR 2 exclusive for a while, although that changed halfway through development for whatever reason. It's supposed to be coming out by the end of the year. Surely this is the perfect place to show off a trailer, get interest going, etc., etc. And I would agree with that, but it's just that Sony's handling of Aces of Thunder thus far has been like, it's almost as if they don't want to talk about, they don't want you knowing about this. Maybe they had a disagreement 
with the developers and they're trying to sabotage it or something. Because like a month, two months ago, whatever it was, Gaijin Interactive put out a trailer for Aces of Thunder, the best trailer so far, you know, had like nicely edited with the music and, and it looked really action-packed. And I was like, yeah, shit, I can't wait to get this. As far as I know, Sony still have not put that trailer up on their PlayStation YouTube channel, which is crazy for a game that was a PSVR 2 exclusive. It's a game that the Quest doesn't have. You'd think they would be pushing that, so I just highly doubt they would start pushing it now at a stage of play. Could be wrong. Uh, it really deserves to be over unlikely. It should be, but you know, Sony. And then we go again, I think. I think we have another one. This could be the last one. PS5 Pro enhancements, I don't think we see any of them for PSVR 2. I think they'll push it a lot for the flat stuff. I think there'll be like a sizzle reel of, look at all these games on PS5 that are going to be enhanced on the Pro, but I don't think we'll see any PSVR 2 support. They did mention that that uh, new technology, the PSS or rendering technology or whatever it is, will work with PSVR 2, but it won't come until later. So it's going to be like a patch that comes out after the launch of PS5 Pro. So for that reason alone, I think they're like, you know, pushing that off to the side. They're not going to like highlight that. At least I don't think they will. I'd be shocked if they do. And there you have it. These are my predictions based on likely and unlikely for what a PSVR 2 owner can expect for tomorrow's stays of play. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know your likelies and unlikelies or what if you agree with mine or disagree with them or whatever in the comments below. Before I end the video, let me thank Decepticon for letting me use his music in all of my videos and also let me thank my channel members whose names are on screen as I speak. They are the following. Muzz, No One Knows, Plank71 Esports Commentator for Hire, Deej the Pumpkin Patch Kid, Pete Hawkins, Peter, Crumb, Superfly AF, Edify Till I Die, Aced, Mr777, Geza, Minus, and Dead Eye Dan. Thank you very much, lads, for that support. It is greatly appreciated. I'll see you in the next one tomorrow, hopefully, for the state of play. Uh, hopefully, you'll be able to join us on the channel. If not, check it out afterwards, and uh, we'll see what we got. Hopefully, It'll blow my expectations out of the water, but as I always say, keep your expectations low when it comes to any Sony event and PSVR 2, you know? Better to be safe than sorry. Anyway, stay moist.